Hey guys, Chris with Superfast RC, and today we're going to be looking at something a little out of the norm for me. Um, well, not for me, but for the channel at least. Today we're going to be looking at one of my new telescopes. Yeah, it's a big one. Okay, well, let's just start off. This is an Orion Telescopes XT8 Plus Dobsonian Reflector Telescope, or also known as Newtonians. Um, this is an 8 inch telescope. What I mean by 8 inch is it is an 8 inch. This telescope right here, it's kind of tall, so and I'm kind of short. Well, here we go. It is 8 inches from here to here, and it is 1200. The focal length is 1200 millimeters. So, if you know anything about telescopes, um, you know that. Uh, Focal length and your eyepieces, you know, contribute to how much multiplication as far as your zoom goes. Um, so, anyways, I just want to show you all around this thing. It is a beast. It weighs about 50 pounds. Um, so, anyways, this is an Orion XT8. So, they send you this nice manual and it shows you exactly how to, you know, put it together. And it takes about 30 minutes. You know, if you're doing RCs, you ought to know how to put something like this together. So... Very fairly simple. Um, like I said, it's very it's a heavy telescope. It's about 50 pounds, but it's not small. Um, so here they just give you some. This is some you know marketing material. More telescopes here. You know some cheaper models. They also give you a download code uh, for their Starry Night um, computer program, which is pretty cool. I've used it. Um, very very helpful as far as locating things in the night sky. You can also get an iPhone app. Not from Orion, but you know, there's plenty of iPhone apps out there. You know, warranty information, um, call us, tech support, um, accessories here, barlow lenses, stuff like that. One of the things I really would recommend that you buy if you're going to get into a, a large reflector, any reflector telescope, is going to be Orion's or in, really anybody's. There's some cheaper ones, but I bought the Orion, the laser collimator. It really helps you out and I've gotten into the habit every time I set this thing out because it is heavy and it's hard to move and you know you might bump it while you're moving it around I just before I look at anything I go ahead and laser collimate it's really easy so um, once again let's take a back up here and just get the scale of this thing it is a monster um, like I said it's 100, uh, 1200 millimeters long so um, anyway, so let's get into the included accessories and see exactly what this thing's going to do. The Plus model, see the, the Plus, has over the regular classic Dobsonian X-T8. They give you this. This is an awesome lens. It is a 2-inch lens, and it is called the Orion Deep View 28mm lens. It is awesome. If you're looking at things like, basically I use it for finding things, and then I'll go down to a Plossel. Um, and you know check out the thing in higher magnification, but This is really awesome for just you know in looking at nebulas Galaxies the Andromeda galaxy you can really see very well in this so um, Yeah, it's really cool. Also the focuser on this one. It's the one off of their XT10. I believe uh, It's a two inch focuser with a fine focus knob right here Which really helps you bring in especially when you're high magnification with fossils, you know really uh, bring in the sharpness of the object you're trying to look at so That's really cool. Um, they also have a red dot sight a red dot sight if you don't know Basically if you play Call of Duty You'll know what a red dot sight is. It's the exact same thing and if you look down in there, it'll be a red dot Well, there it is right there and that really helps you to just locate the object that you're trying to look for and Then you can pull it in with the deep view and then go down to a plossal if you want to go that route. Another thing on the Plus, it gives you these thumb screws for collimation instead of the Allen heads like on the Classic. Just look down there, you can see the large primary mirror. Hello. Um, yeah, it, it is a monster. On the Classic, there's also, this is an upgrade over the Classic. These are tension knobs that have little Teflon rings and they really help to give the telescopes a more granular control, I guess you'd say. And you can adjust that however you want. If you want it to stay a little stiffer, or you can loosen it up and it'll really move for you. So, 
like that. Uh, IP track. Um, this comes with the deep view, like I said. And if you want to change up to this, they give you a 10 millimeter plossel, which is, of course, a high quality lens from Orion. Um, this will really help you pull in the rings of Saturn, uh, cloud, cloud bands on Jupiter, and, you know, if you want to look at further out nebula and stuff like that, that'll really do it. Um, they also give you an X2 Barlow lens. Uh, it's a shorty, which is really nice because it doesn't, you know, it's already a tall telescope and you really don't want to be having a huge Barlow sticking out and make it hard for you to, you know, crane your neck in there. And of course, since it's a two inch focuser and uh, tube, they give you a little step down here to a regular uh, plus old, you know, one and a quarter style lens. Um, other than that, there's not a lot else I can tell you. Other than I'm really, really impressed with this telescope. Just this morning I was outside looking for uh, Uranus, or Uranus, sorry. Anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a very, very large telescope. And it really, really is, the images it is able to pull in, the light is really awesome. The crispness of it, it's really worth the money. I think it, right now, I, I think I paid $4.99 on Amazon, um, but it's worth every penny. Another thing I want to recommend, if you are looking at getting into something like this, um, definitely do yourself a favor. Don't go out to your nearest department store, or Target, or you know any of the others, and get a you know seventy-nine dollar. Uh, they're usually called refractor telescopes. You're really going to be disappointed, and I really think you will be disenthused with the hobby. If you get one of those, you know, you go out on a night, you might see the moon, you can see the moon great. Um, might be able to see Jupiter, maybe. Um, but this thing, and you get into a telescope like this, really anything made by Orion or Celestian or Mediate, but I, I, you just can't go out and buy a Bushnell and expect to see the heavens like something like this can do. Um, I would just really recommend, you know, going with something from Orion or you know something just don't just don't go buy it in town yeah once again guys this is chris with super fast rc doing something a little different um this is not one of my hobbies you know amateur astronomy so um yeah so if you like this video subscribe maybe i'll do some more telescope videos maybe we'll get you know get some sky view and some you know uh photo what do they call it it's you know photographic astronomy i guess you'd say um, astrophotography there you go um, in there as well, but okay guys, this has been Chris with Superfast RC and this has been a, my overview of the Orion Telescope's X-T8 Dobsonian Reflector. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.